older brother that's doing so well. That is, man, it's okay. Obviously intimidating. She was thinking, will I ever get that good? But you can't, can't compare yourself in this business. You got to be your own to anybody, yeah. right? You got to be your own because I'm already in a weird spot. Like any brother or you know, uh, second generation, third generation, you have to be your own person. And that's something uh, I'm grateful for to be in NXT because I have a lot of chances to do microphone stuff and uh, show that I'm not Dolph Ziggler's little brother. I'm Bradley Pierce. I'm my own guy. I have my own background and I have my own strengths. And it's but to see what he's doing, it's like oh my god, finally! Oh, he's getting like a lot of stuff that I think he's deserved for a long time because his career has just yeah, gone absolutely. up and down, up and down, and he kept at it. Man, yeah, I hope. I, I, he'll be in the Hall of Fame someday. I don't see why not. Absolutely, yeah. You mentioned about with your brother and there's second and third generation stars. Right. Does it help you all because there are so many in WWE Next? Brothers, sisters, second generation, even third right. generation stars here. Does that help you all at all or as a group or not really? Does Everybody's it help a, to have other... Yeah, does it help that when you're training and you're working to have other superstars and divas here that are also oh, sure. family members yeah, you know, someone, and something uh, like that. Yeah, because there is sometimes a stigma with, oh, you're related to somebody, of course, they're going to hire you. But that's not the case, and, some, and that's sometimes a bad thing. Sometimes you're you're too much in their shadow, and they think, oh, you'll never be your father, you'll never be your mother, you'll never be your brother. So, uh, But yeah, to have, I have some, uh, I don't want to say co-workers, uh, some peers here who also have family in the business, sometimes many many family members in the business and yeah I don't I have a brother so it's not like our parents did this or our grandparents or uncle but it's still yeah it's it's you can relate to people that way yeah because there, there's ups and downs with that sure mentioned college and going to college you got your degree where did you go where did you get your degree in sure. uh, I went to Xavier University in Cincinnati I good basketball at Xavier awesome basketball there yeah um, I was active in their theater program I got a minor in theater I did English I went back for a master's in English um, I did an improv comedy show there every Tuesday night for about two or three years, which was just great to be in front of a different crowd every night making things up. Uh, I wrote a book while I was in grad school there, and it was published right before I got hired. And I brought that to my tryout. I remember I brought, I was the only guy who brought a resume, and I was thinking, I'm the only one taking this tryout seriously, which is not the case, of course. I was probably overprepared for it. But I remember handing uh, John Lauren I said, well, here's my resume, and here's a book. And he goes, you wrote a book? And I go, yep. And I thought, of course, he'll just throw it away or something. But someone else told me they saw, they were in his office the next day, and they go, yeah, I saw your book on his desk. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you ever read that, John. I hope you did. But, or you passed it on to someone who did. <laughs> but yeah, uh, college was an awesome experience. But what was the book? What was the uh, book The book about? is sure. called I Can Make Out With Any Girl Here. It is a, uh, a funny novel about a college freshman who gets into a lot of trouble his first semester away. It's told through text messages, voicemails, and journals. I think you should go on Amazon now or uh, shortly after watching this and order a couple, maybe 10, 15 copies of it. <laughs> it's a quick read, it's funny. So what are your goals now? My goal, uh, well, okay. Do you have short term, long term? Or is it just day by day? It's day by day and it changes. Uh, when I was in the interviewer role, uh, that came out of being injured. I had broken my leg uh, training here. Because you think people say this is fake and choreographed. Okay, uh, it wasn't fake or choreographed when my leg broke in half. I, I think fake has always been the misnomer. Yeah. It's not a right word to use no. because choreograph or not, you get in there and you're taking <laughs> tremendous risks, and that's why yeah. these injuries happen. The more physical it gets, mm -hmm. the more aggressive. There are even times where wrestlers will say, "All right." Oh, give me a little pop or something like that, just to make it look a little more believable too. I mean, well, so the injuries happen. And a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries happen. Yeah, but that's the nature of this. And I remember one of the first weeks I was training in Kentucky. Uh, who's the, the first person that said this to me? Mike Mondo. Mike uh, Mondo from uh, former Spirit Squad guy, now doing great in Ring of Honor. Uh, I remember he said to me, "This ain't ballet, buddy." I, well, uh, of course it's not. I never th said it was ballet. I was like, okay, but that's and then I heard that a million times since then. That's one of the uh, the phrases everyone has to say all the time. It is what it is. This ain't ballet, uh, and so on. Anybody that worked with Bill Demott will know for sure that this is not ballet. This is not ballet. Yeah. <laughs> Last question for you. 
Any cheerleading in your background? In my personal background? Uh, let me think. I, I've known some cheerleaders. I think there's nothing wrong with it. I've known male cheerleaders and female cheerleaders. I think whatever your passion is, just go for it. If, if you like dancing, dance. If you want to be a cheerleader, sometimes that'll take you all the way to the top. So do it. I think buy my book also. Please, please buy my book. Riley, do you have a Facebook or Twitter or I have anything a, like that? Uh, a Facebook, but I or something that you can give out. I don't ever if you go do. on that, but I'll give you my Twitter. It's at is this the right direction? At Hot Young Briley. So uh, and that's B R I L E Y. Hot Young Briley. Hot Young B R I L E Y. Yeah, this is for uh, Miami Herald. Miami Herald. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thank you, Briley. Thank you.